Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can forward SMS to Slack, email and another number. And I'll show you two ways you can do this. The first of which is going to use the Telnex app within Zapier. And then the second method is going to use the catch webhook event within Zapier. Some of the reasons why you might want to forward SMS to Slack could be that you're receiving 2FA messages to a particular number and you want to forward them to a shared Slack channel. So everyone in the marketing team can get the 2FA code for a segment when they want to log in. Or you could be getting customer responses to your SMS marketing campaigns and you want to forward those to the shared Slack channel or you want to share or you want to send them to a shared email address or another phone number so that members of the marketing team can review these inbound SMS messages. So those are some of the use cases for what I'm about to show you. So going into the first method where we'll use the Telnex app to tell when anyone has messaged any of our Telnex phone numbers. If you're wondering who Telnex are and why you might want to use them as opposed to Twilio and all the cool features they have with their SMS API, then check out the Marketo SMS marketing with Telnex post. And if you want to know how to set up your first messaging profile and purchase your first phone number in under 10 minutes, I've got a blog post and a video that will show you how to do that and get you set up rapidly and very quickly. So moving into the creation of this app, the first part of this is once you set up your Telnex account and you've purchased some phone numbers and you've associated them with your messaging profile. Again, if this doesn't make sense to you yet, then I recommend checking out this post. Whenever we have an inbound SMS come into any of the phone numbers associated with our messaging profile, then we want to proceed and forward the inbound SMS message information to Slack, another phone number and email. So the first part of this is we're going to use the Telnex app in Zapier and the receive a message event. And then the first thing you're going to do is if you haven't already set up a Telnex account, you're going to go connect a new account. And then it's going to ask for your API v2 key. So I'll show you how to get this in a second. Okay, so I've just logged into my Telnex account here. And I'm going to go down to account settings, keys and credentials, and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to create a new API key here. I'm going to copy this and that's what I'm going to put in Zapier. So I'm going to paste this in here. Yes, continue. Hopefully you can see this little pop-up screen here that's appeared. It just asked me for my API v2 key, which I've copied from Telnex. So now that's set up, I'm going to give my application here a name. I'm going to call it Marketo SMS notifications because I want it to match the messaging profile that I have in my account. So here I've actually got two of them for some reason. So I've got my Marketo SMS notifications. So I've just named my Zap to be the exact same. You don't need to specify a webhook failover for this. And then if you go test trigger, it'll give you some mock information here. And we can see that the name of the messaging profile that it's pulling in the SMS information from appears here. And we can use that as a filter in the next step because this first trigger here will pull in any SMS message sent to any phone number associated with any messaging profile within your Telnex account. So in this case here, if you've got 10 messaging profiles, any phone number associated with those 10 messaging profiles will cause this zap to trigger. So just to show you as a quick recap, if I go to numbers, my numbers, I've only got three phone numbers in here at the moment, and they're all associated with the Marketo SMS notifications messaging profile. So anytime anyone sends an inbound SMS to any of these, any of these three phone numbers, that information gets sent to the Marketo SMS notifications messaging profile, which will cause this app to trigger. And in the case that you have, you know, more phone numbers associated with different messaging profiles, they'll all cause this app to trigger, which is why in step number two here, you want to pull in 
the messaging profile name. So in this case, I'm pulling in, where is it? Let me just clear that. Maybe that's why it's not appearing because it's already pulled in. So this is the one I'm pulling in. Data name contains the name of the messaging profile. And we're checking that the text exactly matches Marketo SMS notifications. So that's how we can filter on only inbound SMS messages coming to a certain messaging profile. Go continue. Now we get to the fun part or the easier parts where we're going to pull in all the information that we got to the messaging profile in the trigger into the Slack message. So we pull in the text in the SMS message, what phone number it came from, what phone number it was sent to in our Telnext account. And we'll also put a link to the Zap here for easy debugging. We don't actually need to include this here because we also have the option down the bottom, include a link to this Zap. And if you select yes, then it'll automatically put a link to this Zap uh, along with the Slack message. So that's why you don't need to put the link in the body here. And then I'm just sending this to the help marketing channel. You can also send it as a direct message as well if you want. If you just want to send it to yourself, then you can go send direct message. And then if you want to forward the inbound SMS information to another phone number, then we'll notice here this is using my Telnex account and it's pulling in all three of the phone numbers that I have in my account because these are the only three phone numbers I can use to send outbound SMS. If I purchased another 10, those other 10 would also appear here. And then this is my own personal cell number. This is where I want the text notifications to be sent to. And then once again, we include all the inbound SMS information. You could include a link to the Zap here but I don't think anyone will be checking or going to Zapier from their mobile phone. I think you're more likely to do that on desktop. So I don't think that's as useful here. And in the case that you want to build logic into your SMS sending, it's also possible. I've linked to this post here. If you want to build logic into when you send this SMS to another phone number. So say, for example, if stop is not in the inbound SMS message and start is not in the inbound SMS message, then these are the only scenarios we want to send the message. Else, if stop is in the input message and start is in the input message, then return skipped send. So you can build this type of logic into when you send your SMS by using the code by Zapier action. So you'll put in this code and then you'll pull in the phone number information. You'll pull in the message that was sent and then you'll parse this message for certain keywords. And then you can use these keywords in your logic to say only send the SMS message if it meets these criteria, else we'll skip sending. So if you want to build that kind of complex logic about when you want to send the SMS into your Zap, then you can use the code by Zapier action and you can copy this code from this blog post. And I've linked to that here. And then if you want to forward to email, that's very straightforward. It's the exact same setup as Slack and phone number where we're pasting in all the inbound SMS uh, information. We're sending it to a shared email address so everyone on the marketing team can see it. And then I'm also including a link to the Zap here for debugging. And it's as simple as that. So that's how you can forward an SMS message you receive to one of your Telnex messaging profiles to Slack, another phone number, and email. In the case that you don't want to use Telnex and you instead have a mechanism of forwarding SMS information to a URL, then you can use the catch webhook trigger within Zapier. I'm restarting the recording here because I realized during the course of recording the first part of this video that my lovely face had disappeared. So I restarted everything so you can see my beautiful mug as we go through this. So as I mentioned before, if you have a mechanism to forward inbound SMS information to a particular URL, then 
you can specify the URL of a catch webhook event in Zapier, and then you can use this as a trigger to again forward the SMS information to Slack, email, and, and another URL. So for example, when you're setting up a Telnext messaging profile, again, you don't have to use Telnext, I'm just using this as an example here, where it gives you an option to send inbound information to a particular URL. So if you want, you could put in the URL of your webhook. Don't know why that's not appearing. Oh, here we go. Okay. So you can put in this webhook URL from Zapier into your messaging profile here. So then all inbound information that's sent to this messaging profile will be sent to this catch webhook event and will cause the rest of this zap to run. You obviously don't need to do this because this zap here already does that information. So if we were to do that, that would send the information twice and there'd be redundancy there. There's no need for it. But I was just giving you an example of how you might have a system that forwards information to URLs. So whatever system you're using to forward information to a URL, you're gonna copy this URL into that system. So then any inbound SMS information you have will be sent to this webhook and will cause this app to run. If you wanna test this, you can use Postman. It's a free API testing tool. And you'll put in that webhook address that you copy from Zapier. And then you'll put in inbound message from phone number to phone number, and then you'll hit send. You'll hopefully get a success message like this. And then when you go to your Zap and you test it, it'll pull in all the information. So that's how you can test that the Zap works correctly and that you've got it set up correctly. And then once you know it's working correctly, when you trigger it with Postman, you can then move it to production and use whatever system you have to forward SMS information to URLs to do the work instead. Okay, then everything else is the same as before. So we forward the SMS to Slack. We just pull in the information from the webhook this time. And then the same for email. And then the last part of this is, if you ever wanted to forward SMS information to a particular URL, you can use webhooks by Zapier and the post webhook event. Then in this case, we're gonna specify the URL that we want to send all the SMS information to. And a useful tool for testing and debugging is webhook.site. So here you can just copy this to your clipboard. You can paste it in here. And then any of this information that you send to this URL from webhook.site will appear here. So if we go test action and we go to webhook.site, we can see the information that was sent over from Zapier. So this is a handy tool for debugging whether the webhooks you're sending from Zapier are working correctly. And there we have it. That's how you can forward inbound SMS information to Slack email a URL. And you can do that in two ways. You can either use a Telnext messaging profile or you can use a catch webhook event to catch the SMS information that you're sending to a URL. Now that you're familiar with Telnext and if you're looking to use them in the future, you can check out the Marketo SMS marketing with Telnext posts, which talks about their pricing, all the cool features of their SMS API and, my, and why you might want to use them as your SMS provider. Then if you're interested in setting up text message alerts from Marketo, then I show you how you can set that up within 10 minutes in this YouTube video and in this post. If you're interested in building a two-way SMS system for Marketo using Telnex and Zapier, I walk you through how you can respond to certain keywords like stop, help, or anything you want in this blog post. And then the final part of this is how you can build 
SMS notifications into your normal Marketo system. So the example I use here in this blog post are webinar reminders. So you can send an SMS message when someone first registers saying, thanks for registering. And then the day of the webinar, you can send them an SMS message an hour ahead of the start time to remind them to attend. So now that you've dipped your feet a little bit into what Telnex can do in Zapier, you can use all these four follow-up blog posts, delve even deeper and improve your customer engagement. So I hope that was useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out on this YouTube video or leave a comment in the video here. And I'm just noticing here, if you ever want to send SMS in bulk using numbers stored in a Google Sheet, so you want to loop through each row in a Google Sheet and send a text message to the phone number in that row, I've got a blog post here, which will show you how to do that. So au revoir for now. I hope you find this content useful. Have a great day.